Okay, well, I'm still working on uh, the Bedini uh, Earthlight and Hutchinson cell project. And one of the experiments that John Bedini said was extremely successful was the copper bowl and magnesium with the alum in water. And that's just uh, the regular alum. You can buy it in the store. And this is water. I'll take a little drink here. Plain old water, and uh, you can use distilled water, tap water. I just use tap water. And uh, the magnesium is one of these fire starters. You can get that uh, at Walmart or Harbor Freight sells them for a buck or so. They're not very expensive. And that's just paper towel in there. And then I added the uh, alum with the water and mixed it all up. And it puts out over a volt, but the amperage is extremely good on that. Uh, I can pull 20 or 30 milliamps out of that, and it's running my dynamo. It's running real good. And uh, I couldn't get this dynamo to work off hardly anything uh, except my great big uh, homemade batteries. And uh, it runs this thing uh, real well. And uh, let me take this off. I'll show you the the standing voltage on the battery. It's kind of weird. It kind of climbs up as I take this off. See how that climbs on up there? And uh, it goes on up to about volt and a half. That's the potential difference between the two dissimilar metals. Why it's doing that, I don't know. But uh, that's how it works. Put this back on. You'll notice the capacitor will drop down some here. And now it'll charge back up again. And that's a super capacitor that's uh, on that. But uh, this is feeding it the energy. And what I want to do is try to turn that into a pure crystal battery, just using the alum crystals. Um, and probably moisture in the air, I'm thinking, to make this work. But um, that's a very strong battery for, for what it is. It's a copper bowl I found in a thrift store for a dollar. And there's paint or something on it in here. And I started to take the paint off, and it had kind of a reddish color underneath that. And that looked an awful lot like that cupric oxide or copper oxide type stuff that we're supposed to be getting when we heat this up and then quench it in borax. So anyway, it, it, uh, it performed quite well, so I'm just kind of leaving it that way right now. And like I said, it's just water and alum. And uh, the copper I don't think will ever go away. It'll tarnish. Uh, somewhat, but the magnesium was get, gets consumed, and I don't mind changing that out every so often to make a really strong battery. But it would be sure nice to make this a crystal battery where the metals are not consumed and uh, you pick up the energy somehow uh, through the crystalline structure. But anyway, that's what I've I've done today is worked on this uh, copper bowl battery that's running my dynamo and. Uh, that was uh, quite a find to, to have something like this that was that simple perform that well. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's what I've been doing today is working with my uh, copper bowl battery.